Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to Ark of Survival Evolved on Valgiro. Now, there was no name suggestions from the last episode, so our Wyvern and Piggy will remain unnamed until you guys can, uh, you know, come up with a name. That said, when you do come up with a name, I will, or, or anybody suggests a name for that matter, I will go and, you know, give them a name. I think that's how I'm going to do this in the event that, you know, no one suggests a name. Today we have a lot of work today. So I'd like to, you know, go get started. And I will uh, see you guys here in a second to begin the episode. Alrighty, now that the naming is taken care of, we, we got a little bit of work today. Um, mainly because we pretty much got just about everything we need on Valkyro. You know, we got some wyvern eggs that we can work with and we hatched one of them. We just need to finish getting some more of the, uh, the bleed raptor guys, so we're going to go on a quick egg stealing expedition here and while I go ahead and do this and you know kind of let you guys know what's up we're gonna be moving the Ragnarok like very very soon then the next episode we're probably gonna be in Ragnarok and setting up the base and a lot of these guys are gonna be coming with us obviously we're gonna perfect breed one we're going to take all the high stats that we can get for health, stamina, weight, and melee. Because they don't need oxygen, we're not taking them swimming. They don't need food, you know, so they'll be fine. We need health, stamina, weight, and melee. So we'll collect up a couple eggs, hopefully we get some high level ones. We'll breed everybody together, and we'll start heading off to Ragnarok. And this is why I wanted them. Or like Ragnarok, yes, has ice wyverns. And eventually I'll probably come back over here. I'll grab the ice wyverns, take them over to Ragnarok and breed them. That's most likely what's going to happen. But we need these guys right now because on Ragnarok we need to take out the boss. That way we can unlock the tech sword and the tech shield. Which means we have to kill alpha creatures. Now, typically, people probably just use, like, a whole pack of wolves or a whole bunch of rexes or whatnot. And that's fine. I like to do things a little differently. I want to give these guys a try and see how well they do. The way I'm thinking is, you know, five or six of these guys, I should be able to take out a healthy supply of alphas. I don't know what kind of alphas I'll need to kill but if they're mostly land we'll probably be fine if they happen to be water ones like the squid and the megalodon we're gonna have to change our strategy I, I don't actually know much about Ragnarok all I know is that Ragnarok has griffins which we will be collecting it has wyverns which we'll probably grab a few and that's about it. <laughs> that's really all I know. I, I do know the boss arena has the dragon and manticore together. I have, I have been told about that. My roommate plays Ark as well. He's actually done Ragnarok and taken on the boss, so he, he did let me know who the bosses were. But that's, that's the game plan. We're going to breed these guys up, we're going to move on to Ragnarok. We're going to set the base up very quickly. Um, I, I have a general idea of where I want to be and how I want to build it. And I kind of want to use the same buildings I've already used here because, you know, both me and Solitaire are used to these buildings at this point. So I, I kind of want to keep using them. So we'll have the same house, we'll have the same workshop. Uh, I'll set up med or uh, solitaire's pen, and then we'll uh, 
we're definitely going to switch up the greenhouse. Uh, the greenhouse we have now, yeah, it's great for passively making stuff. But when I want to make like a whole bunch of kibble, because Solitaire's gone off and collected a lot of eggs or you know I've run around and collected a lot of eggs like I'm doing now it, it just it doesn't supply as much as we quite need and then I have to sit there and wait for more to grow so that's one of the things I have to consider I did not see those guys that hurt are there any more no okay uh, yeah, be careful when you're stealing these eggs. These these dudes will come at you terribly. Let's see, we've got two 145 eggs. That's pretty good. I'd like to find a 180. 180 would be nice, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky. Also, if there's certain dinos, and I'm just not thinking about this, if there's certain dinos that you guys want us to bring over with us, you know, like maybe you guys really, really like, um, let's see here, the monkeys, for example, and you guys are like, hey, take the monkeys to Ragnarok, I'll take the monkeys to Ragnarok with us, that's not a problem. Because I, I really don't know who all I'm going to take. Now that we have collected all of our eggs, look, let's take a look at the spoils. So we have a 90, a 145, that's a good one. A 130, not bad. Another 145, 85, a 60, that's, that's alright. Uh, okay, so these ones haven't gone out of the order yet. A 50, a 45, a 95, a 20, and a 50. So we got we got four eggs that we can use. And obviously we still have our good wyvern eggs here, as you guys can see. Um, Solitaire has been going nuts on the egg production, so we have a lot of basic kibble. But these eggs we're not going to use. So, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. So we have eight eggs. Um, I'm gonna need some fiber, and then I'm gonna need to pull up the recipe because I don't know how to make Lazarus chowder off the top of my. I know we need narc for sure, so I'll grab some narc. Let me let me pull up the recipe. Uh, let's see here. All right. We need some miho berries. Uh, no. Where are there? We go. Potatoes. We're gonna need some potatoes. We're gonna need some carrots. I'm not actually sure how many we need, so. Maybe no carrots. Not yet. Definitely corn. And... I think that's about everything. So, we'll go ahead and throw all these in. Give me those berries back. Got to grab some meats which we will also chuck in there and this shouldn't take too long I mean the indie cooker is pretty quick so uh, there's one chowder two chowder alright um now for the kibble I know we're going to need honey thanks to the moss chops we have a ton of rare flowers. I blinked on what those things were called. So we have a fair bit of honey. So we'll chuck all this in here. Just 
start making the kibble up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, no! Give me those berries back. Alright. Um. Need more meat. Alright. So, how bad did I mess this up? Oh, I didn't mess it up that bad. Okay, cool. So there's our kibble. And a few extra. Oh, only one extra? Are we gonna get another one? We're not getting another one. Okay. So I'll take the meat, I'll take the kibble, and I'll take the chowder. And the health brew, I guess. Take everything. Oh, not everything. You put. Restack it. My OCD kicked in. We gotta restack it all in a nice little stacks. We'll throw all this in here. And which egg do we want to hatch first? Uh, definitely the 145s to begin with. <coughs> and then we'll do the 135 and the 130. Now, egg hatching takes a pretty good minute. So, I mean, we've done this before, you know how it works. We're going to chuck the egg down. And then we're gonna wait. I've got all the eggs down. They're all semi close to hatching. This one's about to hatch, so we'll, we'll let's keep an eye on this one. And we get a little dino. So imprint on you. Very nice. Let's get you over here. They're so tiny. Also, I need to make it to where you follow me a lot closer because this is just going to take too long. So, lowest. Follow me, little guy. We'll get you over here by the trough. Alright. Not bad coloring. Let, let's get you some meat. Do I have meat? I don't think I have meat. No. Need to grab meat. I know Ark did an update a little bit ago to where the babies will start eating Albatrop a little sooner. But I forget exactly when. Alright, so 50 seconds, 4 minutes. I think this is the next egg. Maybe? I don't know. Got Solitaire over here checking out our uh, our little guy. He looks a lot like the first couple we hatched. Like, very, very similar. Thirty seconds on that egg. That's not bad. We can wait for that. That's about to hatch. <clears throat> I wonder what, what kind of dino we'll get on that one. Four minutes there, and three minutes there, so... Okay. Definitely doable. Oh, crap! I was not expecting this. There's so many of you. Come on, catch the middle one. There we go. Um... This throws a wrench in my plans. I, I only made four saddles. Right. Let's, let's get you guys over here. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Now I need to separate you guys out a little bit. That way, as you start growing up, you don't clip into each other. I've actually had that happen before, where they, uh... I'd, I'd have uh, twins, and they'd clip into each other as they grew up. It's really weird. Right, I didn't fix all of your guys' following. Hold on here. Uh, 
Uh, good enough. And finally, you. And we'll fix your following options. Alright. Do you have... Oh, actually, no. Your settings are... set back to normal. So I can just do this and copy everybody to match yours. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. What about... Oh, wait, hold on. You guys need food. Solitaires will be there watching the egg, so we're fine. Um, 10 out of 10, did not expect. Let's speed all these guys up a little bit. That way they don't die on me. Alright, now we run over here, and this egg has 50 seconds on it. Oh, deja vu. This one has a minute. So, this egg will hatch. We'll get it over there, we'll get it fed, we'll get it sorted, we'll come back. The other egg will hatch. I didn't time it this way, I promise. Um, it just kind of happened. These guys look almost identical. And they're from different eggs. I wonder if they have like this, This that's weird, is that just like the default color? They all look like that, like, are they from the same parent? How, how does this work? Four, three, two, one. Oh, this one's a different color. Cool. Kind of like a burnt orangey color. I like that. Alright. And I happen to have meat for you. Enjoy, small one. Fed you a little too much. It's fine, though. Alright, now for the last egg. Which has 10 seconds left on it. Very nice. I, I honestly did not plan it out this way. I just kind of chucked all the eggs down. I didn't know they were all going to hatch like at the same time. Ooh, I like this one. This is a neat color. It's like red and yellow and flame looking. Alright, we'll feed this one, and then it's going to be a waiting game. I should probably feed this one again, because I overfed it the first time. And then we'll give you some meat. And then the waiting game begins. Alright, it's been a while. They've all grown up. They're all imprinted. I'm going to put the meat colored one over here. Uh, Solitaire helped me get them over here. So what we have to do now is compare stats. We'll start with health and stamina. Whoever has the highest two, or the highest health and stamina out of the set, we'll breed them together. And then we're going to find one that has a high weight and one that has a high melee. So, that's 24 right there on the health. That's not bad. Uh... I think you guys are the triplets. 24... 24... I think? Yeah, 24 and 24. So yeah, th you guys are the triplets, you're 17, and you are 22. So we definitely want a 24 helter, which would be you. So we'll stick you over here. And then we want a high stamina one. And I don't know how long this is going to take. You know, I could get really lucky and pull it on the first one. I've seen a 24. These are 16, 16, 16, 23, and 20. Okay, so we got the two that... Well, I know which two I'm going to pick. Because 24 is better. But yeah. um, I don't know how long this will take. I don't know how many tries it's going uh, to take. RGN. 
I have no control over it. So I'm going to start breeding these guys up. And see where it gets us. It could take a very, very long while. I've been at this for so long. Oh, one hatched. I managed to breed the health and stamina together. We're working on the weight and the melee. Uh, let's check you. 2124. Those are the stats we need. I need to pick this egg up. And I need to grab this egg. Alright. Knock that off. Alright, um, 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 yeah, double check, 26, 24, 26, 24, and you have the, uh, 21, 24 melee. 21, 24, sweet, so we got, we got what we needed. That's the high health, the high stamina, the high weight, and the high melee. Oh, that took so long. It took so long to do. I've gone through so many of these guys. Also, they're really fast. Like, really fast. They're kind of hard to control. But we finally got the one we needed. That is awesome. need to do that because that's literally the only command code I'm using. They grow up too fast for me to actually take care of them. That's just because of how I set the options. I had I found that out with the first couple. Like with the I thought I just missed it. <sighs> I'm definitely taking this one with me. Like, I really like how this one looks. So speedy. So speedy. But yeah, now, back to the um, imprint quality. With the first two that we made, uh, I think it was Brittany and Brett. I thought I had just missed the, um, the imprint time. Because I, you know, I was doing other stuff. So I didn't bother with them. With these ones, as I was sitting here watching them and I was waiting for them to grow up, like these, these, the first batch that we went out and stole the eggs for, I was sitting here watching them and they grow up faster than they want care. So just to fix that, because if I was on default stats, I would have the opportunity to care for them. I, I just put the, the code in. I don't know if it helps all that much. I think it's like, what, a 15% bonus? At most? I don't think it's much. So. Alright, now we need to make a saddle for our, our, our new, new, new friend. For those who, you know, don't know how I, I do this, 99% of the game is at the default rates. It's just breeding and taming that are sped up. And now that this is done, we can put you over with the rest. Oh, you look so good. Nice black and red. Good stats. Look at that. 26, 24, 21, 24. Those are, these are some good stats. Or at least the best ones I've found so far. But we'll get you put in the pen. And then I need to start thinking about who I want to take to Ragnarok with us. I know a lot of these guys are coming. 
Uh, if you guys have name suggestions, leave it in the comments below for any of these guys. And with that said, thank you for watching very much. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.